Hey guys, quick video. How you doing? Um, was watching Bill Gowdy a couple days ago. Had a great video on Zippo lighters. And it reminded me of about a year ago when uh, I was going down to Bradford, Pennsylvania to visit a client of mine. And um, my, I told my boss I was going down there. And he said, oh, you got to stop at the Zippo factory. So I thought, yeah, I don't smoke. What would I do that? Although I do have a, a cigar now and then. Uh, he said, oh, you got to check out the museum. So while I was there, I picked up this really sweet Zippo American Classic lighter. And um, while watching Bill Gowdy, I thought I'd pull mine out and uh, show everybody. Oh, there, there you can see it pretty good, I think. Zippo, made in the USA. Um, I can't read that, but looks like it's a F11. I don't know what F is. F may be the month that it was made and 11 the year would have been last year and I'm pretty sure that's February um, so we'll pull it apart I've uh, used it sparingly um, watching another buddy of mine Zippo Varga he um, what the hell is that good grief I've never seen a holy god look at the size of that whoa Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god, that thing's got to be two inches long. That's the biggest damn horse fly I've ever seen. Whew. That thing's liable to fly off with me, so let's get this video over just in case he decides to get hungry. He's a subscriber I don't need. So Zippo, Zippo was telling me, you're supposed to take the flints out um, from time to time or if you're not going to use them I guess if you're uh, collecting them so know that but um, I use mine sparingly I don't know if you're going to be able to read any of that stuff on there but boy look at the shine on that you can see the the back door of the house in the reflection anyway uh, I don't have my glasses but it basically uh, uh, for best results, use Zippo Flints and Fluid, Zippo Manufacturing Company, Bradford, PA. Pretty cool. So, um, what I thought I would do is just kind of show you uh, what I do to uh, put fluid in it. You can see that little hole, and uh, well, that fly took off again. And uh, this is where you put your flint in. Your, your fresh flint and there's a little hole right there so I'll take the tip of my fluid and uh, I just use it to lift lift this up you can use anything to lift up so what you got there is a cotton cotton backing and an inside it's packed with cotton it's not necessary to uh, overflow this but I usually give it a pretty good, so there I'm putting it all in there, and I'll watch it, give it a little rest, let it soak in there. So we'll just put this back in here, just like so, and right back inside there, just like that. Nope, I put a little bit too much in there, but it's lighter fluid, so it'll evaporate. I'm just clean it off a little bit so I can show you that front. This is uh, an engraved, uh, it's going to be hard to see with this this uh, evening sun. There, that's, that's all engraved. So uh, I thought you guys might like to see that. It's pretty cool. And... Uh, Come on, baby. We're getting close. There we go. There we go. The wick just has to soak it up. So there it is. An American classic. The Zippo lighter. Still made in America. And, uh, 
even if you don't smoke. Fun to have. There's always a campfire to be had. Well, uh, lastly, I wanted to show you another thing that was made in America, and that is behind me. You'll see uh, what looks to be like a Brady Bunch tent, and that is my tent. That is my tent that uh, I got when I was a kid, back in the 70s. So my daughter wanted to sleep out there, and uh, so did my son, and so he invited a buddy, and then uh, Reagan's going to sleep out there too, and then tomorrow morning uh, we're leaving at about uh, 5 a.m. To, uh, to go walleye fishing, so I'll have another video tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have some fish too. So hey, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, please subscribe. And I uh, hope you're all enjoying your summer. Be safe out there. We'll see you.